I'm making some variable capacitors for another project, and we'll, I'll show you that in another video, but I need to bind, uh, I have to solder to the aluminum foil. Now, most people just do a mechanical bond with bolts and tighten them. That isn't what I want to do. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. Get your aluminum foil, which we're going to use the plates. I've got some vegetable oil here. You can use any oil, motor oil, whatever. I just use vegetable because it's food grade. And when it vaporizes, because I'm not using a fume hood or fume extractor or any of that, it won't be as bad. So I just put a little bit in this cup here of oil. I already tend my wire. And what we have to do is we have to break up the oxide layer. Uh, there isn't too much. If I was using a can, I might sand it a little bit, but let's get some oil on there. We're going to get some oil on the, on the paper here. And this is kind of like welding. It, um, it'll prevent the oxygen from re-oxidizing the layer when it melts. So there, we've got some oil on there. You probably can't see it, but there's, trust me, there's oil. I'm just going to solder through it. So, let me go and get my soldering out. My, my beat lead. I'm going to go ahead and put some on the... Or go ahead and break it down here. Before I uh, apply the wire. This is just an example, obviously. But We'll go ahead and get our, our iron nice and hot. A whole bunch on there. We're going to go ahead and just get the wire on there. Get our solder on there. We're going to break up the oxide layer. You got to be careful because this will get hot really quick. It's a very good heat sink. Now we're tearing up the oxide layer with the heat. Get some more solder on there. And we're soldering through the oil. And once we get the solder on here, it doesn't really matter. But you see how it's kind of spreading out there? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more on here. I'll dip this once again in the solder, and we'll solder it. We'll take a moment. Oops. We'll take just a moment here. Get some more solder. And that's really, really hot. And if all goes well, I didn't blow a hole through the through the paper because I used too much heat. That looks good to me. But as you can see, it's really a good bond on there. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you. So there we got a good bond. Um, I guess we can use a multimeter here to check for continuity. <clears throat> Give me a second. So we can go ahead and put this on here, and there we have continuity, but here we have continuity, and you can see there's like no ohms in there. It's a, a dead short. So that'll work for our capacitor. Now, let me go ahead and get the next video ready, and let me show you how I'm making a variable capacitor for a simple antenna. Um, kind of disposable, it's good for one day type thing. Not something I'd really want to keep around for a long time, but variable capacitors in the high uh, far ends and pico far ends and stuff are, are just hard to come by now that Radio Shack's closed, so this is what we're going to do. So There we go. I just want to show that real quick. And um, that's how you solder to aluminum foil. And it does have a strong uh, bond. I mean, it'll the foil will tear before uh, the bond comes off. As you can see. I wish I would focus. Well, that's what it is. Alright. So, Stunt Camp Prepper, that's how you solder aluminum foil, or copper, to aluminum foil. Uh, kind of if you're in a bind like I am and you need something today. So, there you go. Alright, please rate, subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks, guys. Bye.